Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you an awesome recipe that you can use to grow your edges back and also just generally help with hair growth and also hair thickening. So if you are interested, definitely be sure to keep on watching. Now it contains only two main ingredients and these are really easy to find. So I hope that you guys watch and you watch till the end of the video. Now before we get into it guys, I just wanna say a huge thank you if you are a returning subscriber. Thank you so much for your love and your support and if you're new here please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family now let's hop right into the video so the first ingredient we're going to need for today's recipe will be some moringa powder so i'm using organic moringa powder that i purchased from amazon i'm going to link the um this particular one in the description down below if you are interested um, in purchasing it so moringa is super amazing because it helps to protect the hair against dryness from heat or the sun and it also helps to hydrate the scalp which is super important when it comes to preventing downdraft and just your general scalp health now moringa also is a powerhouse of nutrients contains lots of antioxidants that are known to help stimulate hair growth and also can aid in hair thickening so super super amazing so i use two tablespoons of moringa powder now the next ingredient guys will be cloves now cloves again super super beneficial it helps to promote high growth when applied to the scalp it can also repair strengthen and also add shine to the hair shaft when applied regularly so the one that i showed you earlier was uh, whole cloves i went ahead and i grinded it in my blender and this is what it looks like as a powder so if you have the powder it's definitely fine to use if you're done and you don't have a grinder it's also okay to just use um you know whole cloves for today's recipe so i used about one tablespoon now what i added there was a little bit of rapeseed oil and i'm also going in here with a bit of coconut oil as well if you are allergic to coconut oil definitely leave it out and just use perhaps um rapeseed oil or any other oil of your choice as long as it's heat resistant so i'm using one tablespoon of coconut oil for today's recipe and that's absolutely enough for this amount of ingredient but you can also use more oil if you wanted to the only difference is you're going to have a slightly lighter um, kind of consistency to your oil I'm going to show you what I mean later on so after you put that in we're just going to pop it on the stove and just allow it to just you know cook for just a little bit normally you shouldn't leave it for longer than two minutes guys two minutes is just enough to infuse this oil so go ahead and just give it a nice gentle stir as you are um you know infusing it and then after two minutes of it sort of frying like this turn off your stove you don't want to get this dark okay guys so you just want to gently um infuse it and also do it on low heat so after two minutes we're just going to allow it to cool down and then we're going to go ahead and strain it Okay guys, so to strain, I will be using a recap for today, but feel free to use any other thing that you may have available. It could be just a coffee filter or even your kitchen paper towel, just like I've done in previous videos, will also do a good job for, for this. Um, so just, you know, put that on there and then we're just going to go ahead. First of all, just allow it to just drain on its own um, and then we'll give it just a gentle squeeze later on just to get everything out now do not get rid of the pulp of this guys because it's still super super amazing you can keep it and add it to your hair growth treatment um that perhaps you're you, you you may be doing or like deep conditioning treatment and it's super super moisturizing for your hair as well so yeah you don't have to get rid of the pulp essentially so just like you're seeing here i'm just giving it a really gentle squeeze and you can already tell that the oil has a snotty kind of heavier kind of consistency and like, like i said earlier it's just because i do not add too much oil 
but you can add a lot more oil to this if you want to perhaps get a slightly kind of lighter consistency but this one works perfectly fine for my hair um, because it's just so packed with so much nutrients so it's quite concentrated so I'm just going to add this to um, this little jar in which I'm going to store and also um, from which I'm going to apply to my hair so I'm going to show you how I'm using it in the next slide so I definitely suggest that you keep on watching so that you know basically how you can use this and also the different ways basically in which you can use this so this is my hair at the moment I have an old twist out but it's still kind of looking good so my hair is actually due a wash I think it's been a, about three weeks actually maybe more maybe four weeks um, since I washed my hair so in my scalp right now is very very dirty and my hair feels a little bit way down as well but anyways my twist out still looks good so I think I might rock it maybe for another week or so before I go ahead and wash it guys I don't usually go this long without washing my hair um, but things have been a little bit hectic you know with a newborn and all of that so I haven't really got the time to you know get around to washing my hair but it will get done but anyways so whatever stage your uh, state stage whatever state your hair is in so whether it is in um conros or twist or braids or whatever state your hair is in really as long as you can reach your scalp you can definitely go ahead and use this okay guys so you want to work this through your roots because that's where your hair goes out from so it goes right from the roots so in order to reap the benefits when it comes to like scalp health and also like high growth stimulation you definitely want to make sure that your scalp is definitely um, covered now if you have perhaps lost your edges and you're kind of you know looking to regrow them definitely go ahead and apply to your edges as well just like I'm doing here and always remember to follow with a bit of a massage guys it's super super important because it helps to increase the blood flow to the area which in turn helps to um, stimulate hair growth so you can apply this throughout your entire scalp uh, and also the rest of your hair if you like just to give it strength and also um, you know shine and all of that goodness that we talked about earlier so apply to your scalp the rest of your hair give it a nice massage now in case you're wondering how often you should be using this i would say two to three times a week is such a good time um to oil your scalp especially if you are looking to reap the benefits you have to be consistent guys you have to be consistent to see um, results now you can also use this oil as a pre treatment it doesn't necessarily have to be used only as a high of oil it's something that you can apply to your hair um, before shampooing and that will help you a lot when it comes to um, you know minimizing dryness essentially and also helping to stimulate hair growth during your hair routine so it's something that you can also use for that you can also add it to your other DIYs like your um, you know deep conditioning treatment that you may be doing maybe once or twice every week it really depends on you so you can also add it to it and it's such a good oil in fact I'm actually thinking of using this oil to make you know something else in the future so stay tuned for that so yeah it is super super amazing and it's an oil that you can use in so many ways and just as your regular sort of everyday oil now this brings me to the end of the video i hope that you guys have enjoyed watching and somewhat learned something or found today's videos helpful um if you did guys please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already and also please leave me a comment i do with them all and i will try my best to answer them as soon as i can so thank you so much for watching guys until next time bye